Imagine being responsible for the loss of 10 million lives for your own gain. The man you're seeing on the screen is none other than King Leopold II of Belgium, a central figure in one of the darkest chapters of European colonialism during the late 19th century. But who was King Leopold II, and why is his legacy so notorious? Before revealing his notorious legacy, I'd like to take a moment to introduce our audience to the premise of our new series, Infamous Historical Figures. In this groundbreaking series, we embark on a journey through history to uncover the untold stories of individuals whose actions have left a dark and indelible mark on the world. Join us as we delve deep into the lives of those who shaped the course of nations, often at the expense of countless lives. Born in 1835, Leopold II ascended to the throne of Belgium in 1865. Despite his public image as a benevolent monarch, behind closed doors, he harbored ambitions of expanding Belgium's influence overseas. This desire led him to aggressively pursue colonial ventures, particularly in Africa. Under Leopold's rule, Belgium laid claim to the vast territory of the Congo Free State, a region rich in resources such as rubber and ivory. However, Leopold's intentions were far from noble. Driven by unbridled greed and a thirst for power, he exploited the Congolese people and their land for his personal gain. Leopold's reign witnessed the forced labor of millions of Congolese, enduring harsh conditions and facing violence for failing to meet the king's quotas. The Congolese were subjected to brutal treatment by Leopold's private army, the Force Publique, which was notorious for its violence and intimidation tactics. The primary source of Leopold's wealth was the rubber trade, but the Congolese paid the price with their lives. Forced labor was not confined to rubber collection. It extended to mining and construction projects, where workers faced deplorable living conditions and extreme exploitation. The death toll from Leopold's policies is estimated to be as high as 10 million, making him one of history's most notorious villains. Journalists like Edmund Morell and Roger Casement played a crucial role in exposing the atrocities in the Congo to the world, sparking international outrage and condemnation. In 1908, pressure from the international community forced Belgium to take over direct control of the Congo from Leopold. A year later, a conference in Brussels officially ended Leopold's rule. However, the suffering of the Congolese did not end with his departure. The legacy of Leopold's brutal reign continued to haunt the Congo for decades. It wasn't until the mid-20th century that the Congolese people finally gained independence, marking the end of a dark chapter in their history. As we conclude this episode, we invite you to subscribe to our channel and share your thoughts in the comments section below. We also encourage you to suggest which notorious historical figure you'd like to see featured in our next episode. Your engagement helps us bring these stories to light and ensures that the lessons of history are never forgotten. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next installment of Infamous Historical Figures.